welcome to the pit stop. Steak panini in the window. High-end food at a fast food price. Teriyaki salmon salad ready to go. Amazing Asian flavors. Dribble down your chin. Yum. Eggplant rollatini. Really good Italian food. All from high-end Italian chef Tony Rubano. A little fresh mozzarella. Where did you get your background in food? Growing up in an Italian house in Brooklyn. Then working joints all across Manhattan. Steak houses, lobster houses. Before bringing his own scratch-made menu. Spaghetti squash working. The Long Island. Everything's made to order. From pasta. Penne vodka. To salad. Grilled shrimp and scallops. Salad, salad and serious sandwiches. Picking up a Cuban sandwich. Really, really good. All right, what are we making, brother? Gonna make a little pork shoulder. Sear it off for a hot Cuban sandwich. Okay. Get it nice and crispy, and then oil the top of the pork, salt, and then a little pepper. So you got fat, skin, pork, bone. Yeah. So we're gonna sear this on as many sides as we can. Okay. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. Pork a pot. Get a friend. Buy yourself a gigantic flat. Oh. And now we're going to get it into the stock pot. All right. Do the voodoo that you do. A little oil in a heated pot. Chopped onions that pop in there. And then chopped celery. OK. Chopped carrots to finish up here. And we'll let these cook down for about 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to go a little chicken stock. You make your own chicken stock? Make our own chicken stock. Make everything from scratch? Make everything from scratch. Seriously? Square. And then the crushed tomatoes. I'm going to scoop this off the grill and pop them right into the stock pot. How many of those will you make a week? About a half a dozen to eight. Really? Oh, sure, sure, sure. What are you going to do with the sauce, sauce, sauce? Now it's boiled for an hour. Now we're going to put the pork shoulder and stock in the oven. Six or seven hours. Now we're going to take it out of the oven. OK. Let it cool there. You can touch it. Bone wants to come out. Then we just start to break it down. So that's what you're looking for. Nice big strands. No need to do it. You'll have to do it. Beautiful. And you would like that. So we're going to take this shredded pork, we're going to pop it on the flat top griddle, crisp it up a little bit. I like it. Yeah. So I'm going to grab this panini. We're going to cut them in half. We're going to top this with a little homemade honey mustard and then fill the sandwich with some fire roasted peppers. You roast those yourself? We roast these. Of course you do. Pickles. I'm going to grab my pork. Nice long shreds in there. How big is this sandwich? It's huge. I'm going to put some turkey. I've never seen turkey on a Cuban. Which, which Cubans have you been hanging out with? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Put some Virginia ham. It's really this big every day. Everything we do is big. It's the big apple. And then we got some Swiss. If you put anything else on it besides the bread top, I'm leaving. I think we're good. We're going to pop it in the panini press. Okay. How long is this going to stay in there? About five minutes. Let's open her up, pull it out. We'll give it a cut, and then we'll pop it on the plate here. Home with a six pound sandwich. Come on down to Pit Stop. Mmm. Pork's dynamite. The Honey Dijon rocks. Love anything that's got red bell pepper in it. Good vinegar from the pickle. But the big calculation that makes this all tie together, the bread and the panini maker. That's really the kicker here. I mean, that is nice, crunchy. I mean, it's done right. Everything's melted in the center of it. I might recommend you have a good dental plan. Tasty sandwich. Good job. Thank you.